Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to discuss about the concept of time, what is apparent solar day, mean solar day, and the relationship between GMT, LMT, and LIT. Do you know that time is measured with respect to the rotation of the Earth? Have you ever wondered how we can define a day? So, a day can be defined as a time taken by earth to complete one rotation on its axis with respect to a celestial body but how we will select that celestial body because on earth the main celestial body is sun so time is kept with respect to the sun and uh, as we all know that uh, earth rotates from west to east and due to this sun rises in east and sets in west as you can see in this picture so now let's discuss about the difference between apparent solar day and the mean solar day so this is a very important concept that you need to remember forever. So apparent solar day is the interval in time between two successive transits of true sun. So interval in time between two successive transits of the true sun. So but the question is what is true sun? So true sun is the sun which we all observe but the apparent movement of this true sun is not uniform and due to this there is a variation in the duration of day if we select this true sun as our reference for time. So to avoid this, we use mean sun, which, which will be discussed in mean solar day. So now let's see what is mean solar day. So the interval in time between two successive transits of the mean sun over the same meridian but again what uh, the question is what is mean sun so mean sun is an imaginary body which is assumed to move along the plane of the equinoctial at the average velocity of the true sun over a year to maintain uniformity of the time so now it is very clear that we take mean sun to calculate time. Therefore, mean sun travels an arc of 360 degree in 24 hours, which means 24 hours equals to 360 degree. If we will calculate further, one hour equal to 15 degree, 4 minutes equals to 1 degree and 1 minute equal to 2.5 seconds. So these are the very important concepts that you need to keep in your mind. Now let's understand what is GMT, LMT and LIT. So first GMT. GMT is Greenwich Mean Time. But what is Greenwich Mean Time? So the angle between the inferior Greenwich Meridian and the Meridian passing through the mean sun. And it is measured clockwise from inferior Greenwich Meridian. It is called Greenwich Mean Time. In the figure drawn below you will uh, see 
what is uh, Greenwich Mean Time and this figure will clear all your doubts. So So as you can see in this picture, angle G dash O and S is the GMT. So and it is measured clockwise from inferior meridian of Greenwich that is G dash O. So now let's discuss what is LMT. LMT is local mean time. So the angle between the inferior observers meridian and the meridian passing through the mean sun and it is measured clockwise from the inferior observer meridian is called LMT that is local mean time. Now in this uh, <clears throat> So in this picture you can see LO is the meridian of the observer and L shows the inferior meridian of the observer and angle L dash O S is the LMT that is local mean time. Now we will see what is LIT. LIT is longitude in time. So longitude of the observer or you can say it is defined as it is the angle between the observer's inferior meridian and the inferior meridian of Greenwich. So in the previous figure you can see angle L dash O G dash is the longitude in time. Or you can say LIT is the longitude of the observer uh, so the LIT can be converted in time by dividing the longitude by 15 degree. Now let's uh, proceed further and uh, discuss about the relationship between GMT, LMT and LIT. So when the longitude is east as uh, drawn in the figure here longitude is east so LMT is equals to L dash O S which is equals to angle G dash O S plus angle L dash O and G dash which results in LMT equals to GMT plus LIT and here longitude is east therefore LIT is east when, when uh, in the case the longitude is west the LMT is equals to GMT minus LIT West as you can see in this picture. So this much is important from the topic of concept of time and hope you have liked it. Thank you.